and it's Shireen. So this week we are in California for Halloween for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Um, it was actually requested that I do a makeup look. So today I'm going to do a get ready with me video. Just a really quick simple makeup look before we head out um, for lunch and possibly Huntington Beach today. So, but before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. Any and all support is greatly appreciated. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So I've already cleaned and prepped my face, but I'm now gonna use the Farsali Unicorn Essence on my skin. Just to kinda, I use it mostly for the antioxidant. I don't really use it for the makeup primer. But I have noticed that when I do use it, my face tends to break out a little bit less after applying my makeup. Oh, and sorry for kind of the awkward angle. I didn't bring a camera stand, so I literally have the phone like propped up inside this window. But we got to upgrade to a suite because the room they originally brought us to was actually occupied when we went up there. But then real quick, I'm gonna apply my sunscreen. This is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream by CauseRx and it's a 50 plus. I'm just gonna apply that here. But yeah, this isn't really much of a makeup tutorial. This is just, like I said, a really quick get ready with me. We slept in so late. So we did all the Mickey's Halloween stuff last night. Um, it was from 7 till midnight, but we hung out in California Adventure from like 4 until then. Actually, 4.30. And we only got to do Cars Land in that like two and a half hour time span. It was ridiculous how crowded it was. And they had no fast passes, but what was nice about the Halloween party is that even though they didn't have fast passes, they only had about a third of the crowd because it was a special event. So we got to do like all the rides that we wanted. So that was really nice. And I finally did the Matterhorn. And I was terrified. And I finally did Space Mountain. And I was terrified. They really weren't that bad. I worked myself up pretty bad. I actually thought I was going to throw up. But <laughs> it wasn't too shabby. All right. The next, I'm going to use the Ultimate Prep Primer and Hydrate by Pony Effect. I kind of wish I had gotten the uh, oil control one. I did the hydrating one because it was winter and my face was feeling dry. And it actually did a pretty good job. But... I use so many like hydrating essences and stuff when I'm doing my skincare routine that I don't think I need a hydrating primer anymore. But sometimes the problem with oily skin is that your skin's not moisturized enough or hydrated enough. Sorry, this is like going super fast. We woke up so so late. I just and I haven't done a video yet because I was so busy earlier this week babysitting my two-month-old nephew and packing and cleaning the house and all that jolly stuff. But Next, I'm going to use the Professional Pore Minimizing Balm. I just need a little bit. Oh, by benefit. And I'm just going to dab it on my forehead, tucks on my cheeks, my chin, and then use whatever's left on the top of my nose. Alrighty. And then next, I'm not actually going to apply my CC cream. I'm just going to put on my eyeshadow primer. I always do my eyes first, but I put on, you know, the sunblock and the primers. Um, first so that I can sink into my skin a little bit before I start put applying, um, you know, foundation or BB cream or CC cream. But next I'm going to use Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. Eyeshadow primer potion, sorry. And I'm just going to do like two little swipes. Like that. And then I'll just use my ring fingers to tap it all in. All over my eyelid. All the way on the sides too because that's where our my eyeliner sometimes will run. But yeah, we actually didn't get a whole lot of candy. We The lines for all the rides were what worried us the most. So we wanted to get those in. Because, I mean, when you go to Disneyland, you really want to do all the rides and stuff. And he, we went to only one trick-or-treat stand. But luckily, it's only the beginning of October. And we have the end of the month to actually do actual Halloween. So... We weren't too worried about getting a whole ton of candy. Next, I'm going to use the Naked Urban Decay um, eyeshadow palette. I've had this forever. Tyler actually got this for me for like, I think it was for Christmas a couple years ago. But I'm going to use the shade Naked. 
all over my eyelids real quick. I'm just gonna go like this, blend it out, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna lightly dab this. Also, the other reason I do my eyes first is because I always like furrow my brows or furrow my forehead skin on when I'm putting on eyeshadow. So I just don't wanna crease it. Just I just tend to follow kind of like the socket. That's the word I was looking for, is you follow the socket. Like I said, I'm not really a makeup artist, but it was requested, so I'm gonna do it for you guys. Alrighty. And then after I've dabbed it on my eyelids, I just lightly kind of like windshield wipe. Start to blend it out a little bit. Just lightly, nothing too crazy. Because I'm gonna go back and blend everything together afterwards. And this is just like a simple look, so we're not gonna do anything crazy today. Then I'm gonna go in with the shade Buck. So that's the shade right here. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap. Swirl it, tap. And then I'm just gonna go on my outer crease here. And I'm being super duper light because you don't wanna put too much. And I'm just gonna go right here. And then I'm just gonna angle it downwards like this. Okay, go back in. Swirl, tap, do it on the other eye. This is kind of my everyday go-to look. So I always do like some sort of brown and then I'll show you the next color. But if I'm like in a hurry, this is my super easy go-to look. And I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on my bottom eye lid. I'm gonna do that after I have applied my CC creams and whatnot. Next color I'm gonna use is from Pony FX Soul Conceptual Eyes Quad in Be Romantic. And I'm gonna use this orange color right here in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna put that over that buck color. Swirl, tap, and then I'm just gonna go over that with this orange. And just like this, bring it down a little bit to the inner corners just to create a little bit more depth. Do it again for the other eye. I'm actually gonna bring up a bigger mirror really quick just so I can see a little bit better because I'm trying to do all of this literally in my phone screen. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. I've never had to do that before. No, oh, it's not too shabby. All right, next step. This is where I put on my eyeliner. I'm a little nervous because I've never had to do it in a phone screen before. I might actually put my eyeliner on off screen. If you guys want to see how I do my eyeliner, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'm not a master at it and it takes me forever so I don't feel comfortable showing you how I do my eyeliner just because I'm not like a makeup artist. But I'm gonna put my eyeliner on and I'll actually be right back. I have a little trick to show you guys because I'm not the best at eyeliner. That's why I did it off camera. But I just wanna show you that this is what it currently looks like. Look, it's so uneven. I probably wipe about like half of my eyeliner off like every single time. But there's hope because I have a little trick for those of you who are like me and not very steady with your hand or you're just not really like, you know, smooth with your eyeliner. So what I do is I'm gonna take my Naked Palette again by Urban Decay and I'm gonna go in the black eyeshadow you only need a little bit at a time, trust me. Black eyeshadow is the hardest to blend, so you always want to start super small. Tap that off, and then I'm just gonna blur the line a little bit. So it kind of creates like a smoky eyeliner, if that makes any sense at all. So you can kind of see how I just kind of like smoked it out just a wee bit. It already looks so much better. I love that trick. Okay, now that we're done, now that we are done with the eyes a little bit, we're done with the top part and the eyeliner, now I'm gonna go in with my CC cream. All right, and the CC cream I'm using today is the Herborian CC cream in shade regular. I have a, another video on my review of this. I'll link that down below as well for you guys. But I love this stuff. So you only need a little bit. So I'm only gonna squirt like, eh. About that much. I'm just gonna one dab on that cheek, one dab on this cheek, 
one across my forehead, a little dot on my nose, and the rest on my chin. All right, and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. I don't use a beauty blender for this one because you have to like rub it in in order to like activate the color. And this also has SPF in it as well. I believe it's 25. Yeah, it's only SPF 25, but that is why I have applied my other sunscreen. So I'm just gonna blend this. Whoops, my video got zoomed all the way in. Sorry about that. But hey, this is a wake up call. That way I know I can bring, at least I know kind of what to expect if we ever go on our, another trip and I can uh, bring a camera stand. Cause that would make this so much easier. It's not even funny. Alrighty, and then once that's blended in, I'm going to go in. I have, I'm at a concealer right now, but I have this imperfect cover BB cream in shade 13 sample that I got. I'm usually a shade like 27, so I figured this would be light enough to try and use as like a, a brightener. So I'm going to apply some of this underneath my eyes and down the center of my nose. Down, oops, sorry, down the center of my nose. A little bit above my lip, whoop, chin. And then I'm just going to bring this up to my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend this out actually with my beauty blender, a damp beauty blender, sorry. mirror it's a little easier to see and use wow it's been really light holy cow what's nice though is they're pretty light covered or buildable coverage so if you it starts out pretty sheer so I don't have to worry about any harsh um, like color differences on my face yay all right and then I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier powder to bake my face in those same spots. So this is my Laura Mercier. I just turned it upside down. Tap it, tap it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna unscrew it upside down so that I have the powder in the lid. And then I use a different little beauty blender sponge. I actually don't use this. I only use this one for my powder. And I'm just gonna dip it in here. Tap it. And then I'm just gonna lightly dab it under my eyes and on all those same spots that I applied my uh, the lighter BB cream. And even though I didn't apply any of the CC cream or the BB cream to the creases or around my mouth, I'm gonna put powder there to kind of help prevent any of the creasing because I get tons of creasing right here. Tons. It's ridiculous. Alright, and I'm just gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now I'm just gonna brush this off with a little kabuki brush really quick. And then we can move on to using a powder contour. I usually use a cream contour, but I didn't bring it with me this time because I knew we'd be doing kind of like a lot of running around and I didn't need to be like full glam the entire time. But um, I'm just gonna use, I'm literally almost out of it, so I'm gonna have to get more. It's by Makeup by Yvonne, by hashtag HD Ready Contour Palette in Vanilla Latte. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. Don't really know what it's called. There goes the nose brush. But I'm just gonna take MAC 109 brush, and I'm just gonna swirl this in here. And then I'm just gonna Brush that in. Blend all that. I'm actually gonna pull my headband back a little bit so I can blend it up to my hairline. Yeah, even even the powder does a pretty good job at the contour. It's not as heavy. It's not as uh, defined. So if you're trying to do like a lighter day look, probably opt for either like a lighter cream contour or just like a powder. It's light. It's easy. And then I like to bring it all the way down to my neck, my jawline. I literally like highlight my entire, or color my entire neck. Alrighty. 
Next, I'm going to use the little brush that it came with. It's a little two-ended brush. I'm going to use this smaller side here. Put it in front of my face. It's a little, see a little bit better. And I'm just going to dab that in there. Tap. And then I'm going to contour my nose. And I always start from my eyebrow. And I go under to the tip of my nose. I'm going to do that to the other side as well. You can start to see. And then I'm going to just blend it down my nose. Down the sides of my nose. Sorry about that. And then maybe a little under my lip here. A little more definition here. And then I'm going to just lightly blend it out with my ring finger. Alright. There is your contour. Using that same brush, I'm going to put my blush on as well. I'm going to use Too Faces uh, Perfect Flush Blush in Sparkling Bellini. It's kind of like this corally pink orange color. And my favorite color is orange, so I'm like in love with this stuff. I don't like super dark blushes personally. Look how cute that is. How pretty that is. Anywho, just roll it in here. And then when I do my blush, I just do like three swipes on about three swipes depends on how heavy i'm trying to layer my color about three swipes on each cheek so it's one two three one two three and then i can and then i'll go in and try to dab whatever's left on my brush kind of bring it into the contour there and that's about all i do for blush i don't like to do a super heavy blush look if it's a night look, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll layer on a little bit more blush just so you can kind of see it in the dark there, but nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and finish the under eyes really quick. So I'm going to go back with this little fluff, fluffy brush. Sorry, I didn't tell you what it was before. It is a, it's a 217 MAC brush. So I'm going to go in with that shade Naked. Tap. I'm just going to blend that out underneath here. Just a wee bit. Then I'm gonna clean off my brush. The hotel's gonna kill me for doing this to their towel. Oh my god. I'm just gonna brush off any excess eyeshadow on here. And then I'm just gonna go back in with the clean brush and go ahead and re-blend everything out just a little bit more. And if you're satisfied with how it is, you know, you don't have to blend it back out. Just blend it to your personal preference. Some people like a bit of a harsher line. Some people want it to be like super blended out. I try to aim for somewhere a little bit in between. All right, there's that. What's next? What's up? All right, I think I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, eye Brow Wiz pencil, and I always get it in dark brown because I have dark brown hair. And I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows really quick with their spoolie end. Wow, they're looking really squirrely today. And then I don't need to bring out a whole lot. You honestly don't need a whole lot. And then I'll just do small little strokes until it starts to look a little bit more filled in into my preference. All right, and I think today I'm gonna to do a little bit more of a rounded arch. Yeah, we're gonna do more of a rounded arch on my eyebrow today. Nothing too crazy. All right, now, right now they're both filled in. I'm just going to go back through with the little spoolie brush just to kind of even things out a little bit more. Again, I'm not like a makeup artist. This is just how I do my makeup and it was requested. All right, there's that. And then just to keep all the little hairs in place, I'm going to go in with my, there it is. All right. I'm gonna go in with the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well. You don't need a whole lot. I have to be super careful because usually I will go a little crazy and I get it like above my eyebrow and it'll like take off my foundation right there. So I'll have this like super light spot that doesn't match the rest of my face. It's kind of annoying, but. All right, and there's the eyebrows. Okay, now I'm gonna go and do my highlight really quick and no I haven't forgotten I'm not done with my eyes yet I haven't done my inner corners I'm gonna do this last but I'm gonna go in in that same Yvonne palette 
a brush. I'm gonna use this highlighting color right here. It's really light, kind of like a pinky, pearly color. I'm just gonna, right here. And it's not like one of those highlighters that's gonna be like, you know, it looks like you just smeared like a strobe light on your face. Just very subtle. And I'm gonna put that on the tops of my cheekbones, my nose bridge. I'm gonna bring it all the way up to my forehead, top of my lip, and my chin as well. And I love highlights, so you can go crazy with this. I don't think it's gonna make it look too nuts. All right. And I got this brush from Ulta, actually. Just a little fan brush. Cheapy and cruelty-free. Mac. Not very cruelty-free. But they were a gift for my, for my boyfriend, so I will I use them. All right. Now to finish off the inner corners of my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Queen New York Waterproof Pencil Gel Liner in Cherry Blossom. And I actually need to sharpen it, but I'm just gonna apply it right here. Blend it into my eyeliner there. Again, you can add more if you like. This is just my own personal really quick, simple, get ready with me look, but you guys can alter any of this to your own preference. And then we're going to do the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And it's literally like pretty dry, so I need a new one. I'm actually looking for a Korean brand. So if you guys can recommend me a really great Korean mascara, leave that in the comment section below as well. And you know, everybody kind of like raved about the Better Than Sex mascara. I really honestly didn't think it was that great. I feel like I've had better mascaras. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit, just put a tiny bit on my bottom lashes. I'm not like a huge like heavy bottom lash mascara kind of person. Again, unless it's for like a, you know, heavy makeup look. But in general, no, I don't like to apply a whole lot of mascara to my bottom lashes. So, lips. And I'm gonna use Peri Peri's Ink Velvet in Pure Peach. And I'm just gonna start off by applying it on the inner part of my lips and then kind of like work my way out if necessary. So, I'm gonna go like this. Alrighty, so there's that. And now I'm just gonna go get dressed really quick and we will finish up this look for you guys. I like, because now I gotta, I'm gonna set my makeup now with Urban Decay's All Nighter. Okay. Alright, now I'm gonna go get dressed and then we'll see the whole finished look. Alright, you guys, this is my finished look just really quick and simple and very just kind of like low maintenance but yeah we're gonna go head out now i will see you guys in the next video but don't forget to go ahead and subscribe click that thumbs up button down below and also leave a comment if you like these get ready for me videos but with that said i will see you guys in the next video Now's our time. There's no